welcome to session six of By Law and Order. I am your nefarious dungeon master, Kathleen Devere, and today I'm running these four helpless <laughs> players through an intricate jewel box of my own creation. Oh boy. Good. Uh, but that's okay. It's actually a very safe, nice one. Um, what could possibly go wrong today? No, no, trust you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nobody's died. <laughs> yeah, exactly. More than once. Yes. <laughs> you didn't. He was, he was just unconscious. Right? <laughs> I was there to save you. It's yeah. all good. It was non-lethal. So can we only... bring in this party? <laughs> a lot of a lot of surprise attack damage. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. I was only technically dead. Yeah. <laughs> Other than carrying us through fights, yeah, not much. Mm. Oh, right. All right. Well, like I said, this is session six of Bylaw and Order. You guys want to introduce your characters before I start reading the uh, catch-up box text? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, my name is Cameron, and I'm playing Avenir, the third level Azorius rogue. He is an inquisitive, and he is a low-level clerk with relatively little chance for advancement from his post, but he he's going to keep showing up to work, because in 30 years he gets to retire. Oh, my name's Ian, and I'll be playing the character of Enor, who's a third level bylaw mage with the Azorius... He works in the property division, which means he opens and closes property, basically gets the job done, and goes home for a nice, hard sausage. Nog! <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Ben, and uh, I'll be playing the character of Nog the Goblin from the Boros Legion. Uh, he is a cavalier fighter, uh, so he has a majestic steed in Valencia, the dog. Uh, she is kind of a large, lovable mastiff of sorts, wearing doggy armor, and together they're the muscle and defenders of the party. Mm -hmm. Hey, like, how's it going, everybody? I'm Surge, and I'm playing Molander. Molander's a level three druid of, like, the Circle of Dreams. And he's here really to give back to Ravnica, like, you know, just, yeah. Mm. I really, really get your character's motivation from hearing that. <laughs> I appreciate that, like, it displays not it. It says both everything and nothing about your character. <laughs> when you can go, you know, just like yeah, <laughs> and you go, oh, okay, I understand yeah. what this character's all about. <laughs> like, what did you even say, yeah. Serge? <laughs> everything, everything and nothing. Yeah, <laughs> there was an essay, semantics and semiotics, <laughs> some, somewhere in there, You're right? Really like, saying a lot without talking much. It's like we have a gift my dude. Yeah. Uh, well, and those are our four player characters, and welcome back to By Law and Order. When we last left our party, they had completed a dangerous trip to a luxury hot springs resort that was overrun by complimentary nuts, intergenerational turmoil, and incompetent thieves. After averting several small and actually not very vital crises, they more importantly started making some progress on obtaining the fifth of ten guild signatures, they needed to ratify the Azorius Senate's new Unified Ravnican Sausage Standard, bracket A-S-U-R-S-S, end bracket number 2309-76-19. The outgoing law is the Decamillennial Encased Meat Grading Standard, an ill-conceived piece of legislation that aimed to streamline the ancient and Byzantine network of Ravnican meat regulations by optimistically assuming that you didn't need to... You didn't need to specify that you don't put things like bandages, nails, and, main, and mine tailings into sausages. Predictably, this led to an explosion of products containing all of these things, and in one particularly noteworthy case, shredded copies of the Deca Millennial Encased Meat Grading Standard. So in addition to this vital work, our heroes have also been busy learning about the independent music scene, collecting a member of the Orzov Syndicate from his boyfriend's place so he could attend a family dinner, and retrieving a stolen it is it a stolen is it pyromana flux conduit that flux conduit is why our party currently finds themselves on the subway to the Kapatsa Durak University where they'll be meeting up with their old friend is Mola who is an apprentice blast seeker from the is it league who owes them one mm -hmm. you're on your way to to Kapatsa Durak Avenor Ener this is your alma mater. This is where you went to school. This subway is just jammed full of students. I didn't miss this part. This is not exactly... No, I lived on campus. Or, sorry, I, I guess it should be like... I didn't miss this part of my commute at all. <laughs> this is why I lived on campus. 
I want it much for. <laughs> I, I just got a face full of groin. I guess. Yeah, actually. it's it's just <laughs> jogging pants with 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 uh, KD, KD on KD. the butt. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I wasn't really much for post secondary education at all. I went to a military school. This is nice. Like I was homeschooled. I never got to experience any of this. You know. What does Selesnian homeschool really entail? Oh, like a lot of hugging. I learned a lot about plants. And like the world. Really about getting in touch with myself and my feelings. Hmm. And the feelings of the world. It sounds like a thorough education system. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we're heading over to the, um, to, to the engineering branch. Which, uh, you know, I haven't been in since second year. Who that was a night. <laughs> I dropped out after just a half a semester. Turns out high level math and myself don't get along. Oh, really? I did my honors research here at the, uh, what did I say? The Grand Arbiter Diogenes the Second School of International Affairs. <laughs> Gadsia. Oh, oh I have, you know, my school ring. One of, the, uh, one of the fancy lads. Fourth semester, I took everything down to my local assistant. He had to look at my credits and said, yep, that's a communications degree. <laughs> I've been published. <laughs> so have I. Re nice. In yeah. the school newspaper or what? <laughs> High five. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. nice. Like, there's enough people that I feel like I could fall asleep and I wouldn't fall over. <laughs> Just like this nice, comfortable press of, like, bodies everywhere. For the record, three people next to me are asleep right now. <laughs> This is a place to catch 20 minutes. Well, I can guarantee you from down here that at least four people haven't showered in the last couple of days. It's a busy time in the young person's life. Right, the least you can do is change your underwear and like, Nog like pushes a butt out of his face. It's damp. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and instantly regrets it. Uh... Well, at least you guys, I assume, are going to know the direction that we're supposed to be going. Yeah, 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 I can probably lead the way. As long as they haven't changed the campus too much. All right. Bong, bong, bong. Attention passengers. The next stop is Terminal Station, Kapitza Dirac University. Depart here for connections to the Savangina Line and the Drava Line. Doors will open on both sides. Bong, bong, bong. Hold. Steady. <laughs> I'm, I'm Steady. both sides. <laughs> oh, this is a bad one. <laughs> Wait, where's my dog? <laughs> Bart! <laughs> uh, once you sort sort of successfully disentangle yourselves from the chaos of the of the subway, you find yourself at Kapatsa Dirac University, voted the third best Ravnican research university, thirty eight years running in the sixth district Times Picayune special issue on post secondary education options. Kapatsa Dirac University and its sprawling school of connected research institutes make up the entirety of Precinct 5 in the 6th District. During the school year, more than 12,000 students travel here to attend Kapitza Dirac, drawn in by the promise of really getting down to some deep thinking at one of the campus's many fine microbreweries. The subway station connects directly to the university's main quadrangle, and as Mola has said that she will wait for you at the Central Fountain. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I know the way. So I'll lead people there. Yeah, it's excellent. Like, oh, there's that building. There's the bookstore. There's the student union building. Does, uh, does this university... Out of curiosity, does this university have like a mascot or something? Yes. Uh, Gertrude the Sphinx. Oh. Its is... actual form is the shadow that it casts upon the earth. What you see floating above is actually just an illusion. So there's no actual Sphinx. Oh no, the Sphinx is real. It's just not what you think it is. Is that an Evangelion joke here? Yep. He's got to throw. <laughs> he's got to throw one anime joke into every every session. Especially if they relate to the uh, title of the university in any way. Mm. You're right, Kim. Yes. Dirac, <laughs> Dirac is a reference to Evangelion. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't go for a walk. <laughs> it's a rich tapestry. 
I just I hope they have a sports team called like the Drakes, just they blue have, red Drakes. They yeah. have so, so many sports teams. Here. So, okay. So if it's an illusion, do you? I imagine you guys don't ever have like those pranks where someone steals your mascot or something. No, but what happens is the um, the 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 is it recruiting league usually disassembles a uh, a gyrocopter and reassembles it hung from a bridge. <laughs> That sounds about on par for the is it. Hmm. I actually have a cousin who was part of them. Oh. Yeah. All right. Had a cousin. Oh. Oh. Now he's parts. <laughs> Fortunately, he got disassembled. In more ways than one. No. Anyways, lead on. All right. Uh, I suppose I'll just lead us to the fountain if, if Ismola is going to be waiting for us. Exactly. Well, Make me a perception check to see if you find, if you recognize Ismola. Oh. Uh, the, ooh, ooh, ten. Uh, ten? Boy, there's a lot of red and blue uniforms one, around two, here. Four, question mark? Molander, you one, spot, two, four. You spot Ismola right away because she is wearing her distinctive red and blue frame, flame retardant uniform. Yeah. Uh, hey, Ismola! And it's like slow motion running with my arms out ready for a hug. Hooray! It's so good to see you again! Oh my goodness! Hi, she Molander! Uh, maybe you don't know yet. Okay, I go in for a hug. All right, Ismola is like, oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Like she's like, okay, oh, Selesnians, and it's then... been like, what, like three, four days? It's been four days. Oh, Lander. I missed you. Oh, oh, good. Oh, how's the sausage work going, you guys? We're at we're at five of ten. Holy crap, that's awesome. We fought the gruel. Wow. Yeah, one of us almost died. Is I still it... have all my teeth. They're here. Yeah. <laughs> I hold up a baggie. Oh, Honestly, wow. the worst part so far, though, has been transporting around a deck of millennial. Hmm. A deck of, the deck of millennium was 76 years ago. Honestly, the worst part about it has been transporting some some butthole from the Orzoth. Oh. Yeah, Post I can see that. Post deck of millennial. Post deck of millennial. Yeah, okay. Re That's reading fair. all those think pieces. Hmm. Ah, so welcome to Capazza, Capizza Dirac University. Wow. So this is the quadrangle and this is the fountain. And over here is the bookstore and there's the transit loop. And she's starting, she's starting to give you the tour. Mm -hmm. uh, so fl feel free to cut her off. Otherwise, she's just going to... Oh, I'll let her do it. Uh, yeah. it, makes, it makes the STEM people happy when they explain things to people. All right. <laughs> excellent. Okay. So uh, we're going over to the engineering side because we got to go to the lab of applied crepitology. So that's cool, um, but as a warning, it is club day, so it is super crowded. So what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonally through the quadrangle, and then we're going to cut through the student union building because that'll that'll cut some time off our commute. But it is there's lots of people, and it's a little distracting. So if you've never been here before, try not to get lost. Hmm. Uh, uh, Nog I, hops on top of Valencia for this part. All right, right. Uh, Avenor Enor, Avenir mm -hmm. Enor. Do you guys remember the club festival? Yep. All too well. Yes. It was it was considered a sign of 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 uh, propensity for advancement if you were part of at least three clubs. Mm. That they they looked for that on your resume. So what what clubs were you in? Well, it was the East Asian Studies Club. That was they kind of roped me in. I really they had to try. Okay, fine. I actually signed up to be secretary within the first year. Catapulted to vice president for an entire for the remainder of my term here. I did. Uh, well, you know, I I was in the fencing club mm. for a little while, yeah. uh, and then I also did diving and bird watching. Ooh. Which year did swimmer? Mm, you know, I'm okay. I guess diving isn't so much about swimming. As yeah. it is falling gracefully. <laughs> Spins. You know, yeah. I, w I wanted things that would look good on an application to the Senate, so... I wasn't too concerned about that, which is why I decided to sign up for the non-gilded fermentation club. Ooh, what'd you mm, make? Everything! First, mead. Then, Ooh. sausage. That's where I really fell in love with the ground meat. They let you make food? <laughs> Funnily enough, the term for taking something that's not edible by itself, but making it good to eat by drying it, is curing. We're kind of like healers in that way. Well, that definitely 
explains the the uh, the the cure light wounds sausage that I was fed <laughs> at a party. <laughs> Does get crusty one way or another. So as you go, this through, conversation makes me profoundly uncomfortable. <laughs> as you go through the quadrangle. You can see that there is uh, the basically how this works. If you haven't been to Capizza Dirac, is once a year all the clubs have recruitment drives and they set up their booze in the quad and they organize open houses and parties and attempt to woo new members. Uh, and they do this because if you have more than 25 members, you have official Capizza Dirac club status, meaning mm. you can book one of the school's rooms for your club meeting and bring your own beer instead of having to buy it at the pub. Yeah, so it's very funding. important. Um, and so right now, the quadrangle is normally just like a big empty space, like that people can go and sit uh, with like lawns and fountains and, and sculptures. But now it is just lined with booze, and people have made like streets in the quadrangle to get more. And like all like there's like there's six tents that are blaring different types of music, you know, like some in like some in like music appreciation clubs, some in just like band clubs. Like the jazz band has their own club, oh. right? The classical music club is there and they've all got like oboes and zithers and stuff like that and do, they're doing something quite baroque. And so it's just this cacophony of noise coming out of tents and there's people trying to hand out pamphlets and samples of like food they make at their club meeting and there's a swamp ball demonstration going on in the koi mm, pond. Swamp ball. <laughs> it is just, it is, it is bananas. There are probably... 2,000 people crammed into wow. the squad right now. Wow. I like so much energy here, man. Like, look at all this <clears throat> positivity. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I kind of miss academia, the, 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 the energy of many people thinking about things, hopefully. Mm. Also, well, lightly hammered. Mm. I'm going to go check in on the Is It Science Fiction Club, see if they've got any new tapes. <laughs> Uh, actually, as you pass the is it, as you go looking for the is it side fiction club, you actually see the Eastern District Comic Appreciation Club and their mascot, Edek Edek Tan, and Edek Tan bumbles over to you and goes, Enor, and Edek Tan's like big squishy suit. Edek Tan, what it? Wait, help me out here. <laughs> Thank you, Enor. Do you remember me? And and Edek Tan takes off the the gigantic helmet. And it's like a young Vidalcan girl. And she's just like, Enor, do you remember me? I'm Labota. I'm your friend Guzdaz is from the Eastern Comics Club. I'm his, I'm his younger sister. He told me all about your many adventures here. And I had to join the club. And now I get to be Edictan. Isn't that great? And she puts the head back on. <laughs> Congratulations. What? Wait, you're the idiots that clogged up all the sinks in my building. <laughs> What is an Edictan? What is Edictan? Edict <laughs> Eastern District Comic Appreciation Club, E D C A C. Oh, it's an right. ac acronym. Yeah. And they just have a silly mascot that's they literally have... the. Ah, right. Like, I, I understand that. What does he look like? Uh, I, see, I see these arms and I see that you're taking off a helmet. It's a, it's a humanoid. It's a big blobby humanoid with big moe, like big eyes like they draw in those Eastern, Eastern District comics. Okay. And a tiny mouth and a little nose and like a little like Capizza, Capizza Dirac color uniform with like a picture of Gertrude the Sphinx on the t-shirt. Okay. Huh. Ah, that... It was a collaborative design. Were you, were you, like, the main consultant on this? Oh, God, no. But I was secretary, which means I had to register it, which means I'm intimately familiar with the details. Why is the costume so hot? I had no idea. When I was, when I was on the board, we were just dreaming of having a costume. Oh. We had to make do with pieces of foam and bits of... Well, bits of I don't know what we found back then in the engineering department to put together a costume. Oh, I, I, I'm not nostalgic for those days because I wasn't here and I've only heard about them, but I'm a little nostalgic for them after wearing the costume. This one looks incredibly absorbent. That will definitely help with the sweat. Uh, I mean, the cosplay club does good work. Uh, and she goes back to being Edic Tan and trying to wave people over. Uh, are you guys all in your official outfits? Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, good news. The future law mages of Ravnica Club Ooh. are looking at you two, and they suddenly are like, <gasps> Real life Azorius. And a couple people run over to you, and they're like, Oh my goodness, how did you get into the Azorius? I'm really excited in joining the Azorius. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah, we, um, you know, I, I, did, I did my master's work at Gadsia, so if you're in, in, oh. in if, if you're, if, 
if you're in that program, then, then stick with it because mm -hmm. it, it comes highly recommended. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I wrote my honors thesis on, uh, you know, it, it, it was on uh, novel vulnerabilities in the Guild Pact introduced by uh, Third Harmonics in the Sphinx translation. Mm -hmm. uh, you had just a little circle of nerdy looking kids around you. Yeah, and then I got hired on as a fourth degree clerk uh -huh. last year. Uh huh. I just applied. Look, honestly, I think if you're going to be doing something in the Azorius, you might want to reconsider this schooling and go out and get some practical spelling experience. The days when you could just get a job with some sort of progression on just a single undergraduate degree are long gone. Spelling experience. <laughs> so I have to go to school. Wait, how many, year, how many degrees do you have? Two. Just the one? I had to go to school for eight years to be a fourth level clerk? I'm slated to be promoted next year. That means there's an opening! <laughs> I need to go register for graduate classes! Like, I don't want to, like, poach, but... Selesny are always welcoming people, even... Even if you don't have the education. Like, I was homeschooled and I turned out fine, man. They've already run off. They're already Goodbye. registered for graduate classes. <laughs> You're speaking to no one what... And I turned out fine. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> No, <laughs> the, who are you talking to? Oh, the oh. kids who are, oh. <laughs> you know, that happens a lot. I need a drink. Is it, there a, a food club around? There's many food <clears throat> clubs around. Do they have free samples? Oh, many of them are handing out free samples. Ooh. That's where Nog is. Okay, you're you don't wake up. He's not, he's not up, actually not stopping to talk to any of them. He's just walking by each one. And Hello, like, samples, samples, samples. Hello, this is homemade kombucha. Yes, please. No. It, no. Have you tried this? It's no. fermented. No. Has one and puts it back on the tray. And keeps no, no, you should try it. It's really good for your digestion, man. Oh, hi, Eno. It'll are keep you regular. How, edge how's for the most booch. famous alumni of the Fermented Food Club? I'm doing well. I mean, ooh, is that still from the original strain? Oh, we've got our old mother. Don't worry. Bless her coming and her going. Uh, up ahead. You see two boos, and they're flinging projectiles at each other. Uh oh. Yeah, these are the Islands Ball and the Plains Ball teams, the uh. mortal enemies. <laughs> Ever since Fountain Ball was broken up by that antitrust regulation. Yeah. <laughs> Magic jokes. <laughs> That's good. And, uh, That's oh, a good joke. You see, you hear some very dissonant music coming from one tent. Oh. Uh, this is the this is the psychedelic music appreciation club. Do you guys want to make me some perception checks here? Sixteen. Sixteen. Ooh, I crit failed. <clears throat> Boy, what nice music. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. You think you recognize two of the people there? I actively disbelieve. I, I I walk over to it. Oh. Okay. Well. Hey. Hey man, welcome to the Psychedelic Music Appreciation Club. Oh, is it Luba and, uh, and... Groja? Yeah, Groja. They are in fact in the back of the tent and they recognize you and they start ah, to get shit. very pale. Hey, so this is, so, did you check out this awesome album? This band is called Boards of Ravnica. Oh. <laughs> my god, Kathleen. <laughs> ah, good to see some Azorius music out there. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know they were still around. Well, I mean, they haven't released anything recently, but, you know, hope always lives on. Anyhow, uh, I don't know why I'm talking to you, because you clearly don't go to school here. But don't bust us for anything. But, like, do I have to be a student to listen to music this deep? No, Whoa. absolutely not. Here, have yeah. some pamphlets with recommended listening. Yo, thank yeah, you. Yeah, remember the Psychedelic Music Appreciation Club piece? I will. In my recollection, a lot of people from the Psychedelic Music Appreciation Club never actually remain students for very long. <laughs> You don't want to talk to Luba and Groja as they uh, try to avoid you because they realize I mean, they, they look uncomfortable, but uh, I'll be like, hey, we met King Zykor. Yeah. Valencia sort of walks up because she recognizes them and starts like sniffing at them. They're pretending they don't know this very friendly dog and giving her very casual pets. Uh, we're, we're sorry for our friend the other night. Oh, yeah. I forgot and, about that. Yeah. Yeah. Our friends, actually. <clears throat> I didn't realize you were Azorius law mages. Oh, I'm, we're not law mages. That's way above our pay grade. 
quirk is probably closer to the truth. Luba! Oh, hello! I just saw you! What's up? Mmm, hello, friendly man. Yeah! Um, uh. He's... He's Selesnian. They're very casually affectionate. I have noticed. Group hug? Melander, she's yes. not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You need to dial it back. What about what about what's his name? Groja. Groja. Even less Absolutely probably. Absolutely not. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> Melander, people give off what are called signals. Okay. For example, if their shoulders hunch, or they cross their arms, or they avert their eyes when you enter the room then they might not be comfortable giving you a hug. If they look like they're smaller when you're approaching them, that's because they're moving backwards in avoidance. Also, you probably shouldn't hit on their b girlfriend. What do you mean by hit on? Uh, flirt? Oh, I wasn't flirting, I was just being friendly. People might misinterpret the way your friendliness works out. We're, we're working on him anyway. Oh. Sorry for a bad night the other night. It's fine. I hope you like King's Eye Corps and the War Boar. Well, we, yeah, they were cool right. when we got to meet them. You fought the War Boar. Super friendly. I slashed open one of their thighs. Maybe it was like, no, it not one band. of them. It was... it was one of their band members' aunt. Ah! Yeah, that yeah. was pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You attack King's Eye Corps and the War Boar, and you're being bodily shoved out of the <laughs> no. psychedelic music. No, please club. stop! Tell me more about Boards of Ravnica. No, oh, oh, shoot. So, Enor, <laughs> do you remember? Do you do you maybe remember why Luba and Groja might be looking very uncomfortable to see you again, recognize you, but see you dressed like an Azorius? That's right. Uh, you, you commanded them. I asked them some information. <laughs> And did they give you information? They most certainly did. I've oh. got that in mind here. Oh, um, yeah. Right. He's like, are you a cop? No, here's my drug dealer. <laughs> right. <laughs> Turns out you're a cop. You have to tell me if you're a cop. Uh, while you're doing all of this at the Psychedelic Music Appreciation Club, is Mola is hanging out a couple tents down? Because she is talking to people in the cosplay club. Oh. And she seems to be having an animated discussion. Huh. So... Nog runs over. He's got a deep affinity for people who like to dress up in armor and such. Oh, well, this is like less dressing up in armor, and this is just very fanciful. Like, it, like they'll dress, they'll, they'll make costumes for anything. Like famous people, they do all of the costumes for all of like the drama club presentations. Uh, last year, they did *Implicit Maze*, the musical. So there's um, like a paper mache Eldrazi in the corner, something kind of ratty. Oh, there's all sorts of fantastical things. There's actually, there's actually somebody is dressed know. up as Asperia. Oh, <laughs> they don't know who the Eldrazi are. You don't know who the Eldrazi are. <laughs> You're, you, yes. Ravnikans don't yes. know who the Eldrazi are. There's, there's, there's a lore tiller Nephilim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But there's all sorts of like famous like Ravnik and beasties and boobads. There's definitely there's somebody cosplaying as Orberigmos right now, and they've oh. got the the, the the job they've done with the second head is very convincing. Ooh. And as Mola is having an animated discussion, she sees you come up. Nog, having fun? Uh, uh fun adjacent, I would say. There seems to be a lot of clubs in here, but I was never really part of academia, so this is all pretty foreign to me. Okay, well maybe we should get going then. All yeah. right. Bye, see you later. Yeah, okay, like Tuesday or something. Yeah, Tuesday four. Yeah, bonjour. Okay, cool. All right, bye, bye, bye. You know, like I can just imagine Avenir walking past the diving club and seeing a picture of himself two years ago, <laughs> and being like, <laughs> <laughs> look at this photograph. <laughs> Does anybody else want to visit any other clubs? Is there a sausage club? There are a lot of different meat clubs. Okay, I was uh, hoping for the, like the meat vendor. <laughs> the well, I'm vendor. looking for the hot dog vendor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, if you want food, then you should keep following his mola because okay. you can because you're coming. You're she, you're cutting through the student union building, ah. uh, which is where the cafeteria and all like the little like uh, shops are and stuff mm. like that. So if you want hot dogs and snacks, you can just go there. Mm. Deal. Okay. So all right, uh, you disentangle yourself from from the quad. You are now in the student union building. Ooh. All right. right. So this is a student union building. Um, uh, up here we have like the Graduate Students Association, and here's the cafeteria, which is not very good. And here's El Plaucaros, which is not very good. And here's and here's Scrubway, which is not very good. 
And but like you know what? It's all like campus food. Oh, and there's the basement bar Carners that's very good, but oh. all they serve is beer. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Oh, and like uh, and she picks up like a newspaper. She's like, here's the student newspaper or the Starling, and she puts oh. it back down. And then he's like, all right, but uh, follow me, because we're going to the engineering faculty. Ah, yes. I haven't been here in a while. All right. I actually don't mind Scrubway. Yeah? yeah. Do you want to stop for some food? No, not at Scrubway. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to stop here on the way back, if that's OK, to check out the newspaper offices. I need to get an old comic that I was in. You were in a comic? Yeah. When did you have time for all of this? It was a, I didn't do a lot of work. No. Right, you yeah. dropped out. Once. I got better. <laughs> the hell of a weekend. All right. Uh, Gadsy yeah. has a ping pong table. <laughs> it's next to the couches where you sleep. Mm. Good grief. So eventually, you make your way out of the student union building and all like sort of like mazes and stuff like that, and you get to the engineering faculty. And here, because even though the uh, university is not officially affiliated with any guild, you see many is it watermarks on the building, mm. including the building that Ismola is leading to you. Uh, it is uh, you come to a four-story tall cement building which is painted with an enormous is it insignia in uh, red and blue. Mm. You can clearly see that it's supposed to be Niv Mizzet's face because it's a newer painting, so it looks more like him. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. They've touched up the paint on this more recently. Like a specific dragon and the ambiguous dragon face. This is a very <laughs> specific Niv Mizzet face. So this, okay. looks, this building looks like it was repainted in the last couple of years. Mm. And there are currently flames shooting from uh, two windows. Uh, <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Roll for the number of experiments that have failed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the foyer, as you enter, like mm -hmm. the rest of the building, is made of flame-retardant cement. Hmm. Hey, okay, so this is applied crepitology. What? What is crepitology? That's the study of explosions. Oh. oh. So we are the study, we are the applied study of fire explosions. Oh, is there also... a Applied crepitology implies theoretical crepitology. There is a theoretical crepitology building. Oh. But it's uh, mostly just calculating about how atoms embed themselves into walls after particularly exciting explosions. But I think the fun comes from making the explosions you, and occasionally harnessing the explosion. Your theoreticians have their own building? Oh, yeah. Deep underground to keep them safe from the applied buildings. Right, with probably dedicated facilities. Absolutely. It's a field of great expansion. Rapid, one might say. Re regretting your, uh, regretting your major. Yeah, I'm just looking. It's like, where are you looking? <laughs> Down. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So, uh, Ismola takes you up this grand central staircase, which is sort of the center of mm. the building, and it's a beautiful staircase with like lots of windows and like diagrams and like mm. like hanging decorations of like things and explosions like you know like yeah, slices right. of things detonating mm. uh, and uh, the walls are also liberally dotted with fire extinguishers labeled small fires only uh, I, <laughs> did, did, did you get funds to renovate oh the isn't league thing? supplies this because this is a league affiliated research institute oh mm. oh okay then isn't this all like Kind of dangerous, man. Yeah, that's why I joined the Izzet League. Wait, make me a perception check. 16. 16? 13. 13? Uh, that would be 8. 8? 4. Mm -hmm. 4? Well, all of you are like, huh, Ismola must like explosions. Ismola's eyebrows have been singed off recently. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Part of the job. Anyway. All right. Um, on the way over, I would have been asking her for, like, etiquette questions about dealing with the dean. Oh, don't worry. We'll meet Babalax. He's pretty chill. Oh, okay. So you walk down the hallway, and as you go down the hallway, you can see into the labs. Mm. Who, who wants to look into a lab? I do. All Let's right. see the lab to the first door on our left. All I right. get an 8 well, to 20. Roll, roll me a 1d4. Roll me a d4. What do you see? I see a number two. A number two, you see a goblin measuring dry powders into a beaker. He's wearing very large, heavy gloves and using an extremely long and exceptionally tiny spoon. And you can see his hand shaking. Uh, Pull down the blind. <laughs> uh, Naga Valencia looking door number four. Uh, door number four, you can tell me what you see. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Nog looks in and there are four... Um, 
uh, site. There are four members of the Is It League surrounding a singular cauldron. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there is just a fire that is running under it. They're putting a whole bunch of stuff in. And uh, slow, and like above it, there's just one goblin who's wearing like a bunch of uh, goggles and whatnot uh, suspended above it. And it looks like they're about to just have some sort of explosive device come out of the cauldron at it to see the effects of it. Mm. Sounds the like safety it's, goggles. It's fun, it's, yeah. Fun research. Yeah. Uh, Avenir mm. looks in a lab. Avenir, you see a group of students working together to solve a complex equation on a chalkboard. Oh, well, that looks refreshingly cheap. Uh, and uh, That's what I'm looking there. All right. So, Enor, you see, you see a person walk by the door who is clearly on fire. And you walk, and you see her walk very calmly over to the emergency station, pull the lever, get showered with water, go out. And then walk back to her desk, trailing smoke. You seem pretty on par from the last time I was in here for an exam. Last time there were a couple of guys using a screwdriver on half a circle, and one of them fell down. It's weird. Anyhow, I don't get that reference. <clears throat> oh, just the uh, idea of uh, twiddling aloud with the demon core. Oh, oh God, right, yeah. <laughs> Tickling the dragon's tail. Yes. After how do we make it out of the twentieth century? <laughs> After peeking in many labs, all of which have funny things going on, except for the one where people were just doing math, because a lot of this job <clears throat> is math, <clears throat> or a lot of this this part is math. Uh, you finally get to the Grand Pyro Crepitorium, <clears throat> which is a massive space that takes up the whole back half of the building and is actually two stories tall. Because you're on the third floor, and this takes up the half of the third and half of the fourth floor, so it has extra high ceilings. And so you get, she opens these huge double doors, and you can see massive machinery everywhere, complex things that go zorp and make sparks, and 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 just are incomprehensible if you're not an is it scientist. And there's just like thick cables of electrical wires going everywhere and like tying themselves into knots, but apparently doing things. I don't know. And you I can like see an elderly goblin Ooh. on like a stepladder, and he's waving his arms about and he's shouting instructions because across the lab on a high catwalk uh, adjusting something on the ceiling of a blast chamber are two people in like full red and blue is it like blast suits uh they are like you know they've got like face masks and stuff like that and then you just see this this goblin he's like no 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 i had to the left no 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 keep in mind the angle of refraction it needs to be pointed down that way he's doing all this and his mola walks up to him and says hey dr babalax the sausage team's here uh this seems like a bad time hi we're the sausage party should we have protective PPE? oh no 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 and hello sausage men welcome to the lab let me give you a tour babalax oh. loves his job oh I thought he was going to finish that sentence with hug, and I was really excited, but like, a tour is okay, too. Yeah. I mean, I expected him to say hug, too, so I winced. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, so this is the lab of applied crepitology. Who knows what crepitology is? Ooh, ooh, I learned earlier. That means explosions. Oh, very good. Yes, yes, yes. So here is where we uh, design and then measure and then control the output of various exciting pyro crepitology uh, incidents or fire explosions. Ah, this machine with all, he starts walking you around the mm -hmm. lab and he starts pointing out the things very excitedly. He says, this machine with all the lightning's rod stickings out is to calculate the planar differential between two atoms passing each other very close, but not close enough together to explode. This machine that goes swoop tells you what happens when light gets trapped in an infinite vortex of darkness. Spoilers, explosions! And this machine with a giant lever activates the pyromana flux conduit we've got strapped to the ceiling of our blast chamber! Oh, is that. <laughs> he hits the lever immediately. Uh, and so what you, happens? Can, you can see in the blast chamber mm -hmm. that this big ball of energy starts to form. Mm -hmm. and then starts to swell and explode and get irregular, and then it pops, and then everything flashes white, and Ma. then everything flashes dark. Ma. Ma. Avenir thinks, am I supposed to have my mouth open? Uh, 
and then you just you could feel a wave of energy move towards you. Mm. And then a split second later, the sound of the explosion hits you. But it's more of like a boom than a, than a true bzzzt because it's in a blast chamber. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. Huh. Is this the kind that makes my teeth whiter? Ah! Babalax goes, oh, that was even worse! And he starts swearing and goblin. Do I, do I know what the... I assume I know all these swears. Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. They're very bad. Whoa! You kiss your mother with that mouth? I, my mother would be just as pissed off if I was right now. He's just like screaming instructions and his mola sort of slides in and says, Okay, so that pyromana flux conduit that, that we was... retrieved uh, is a little bit of out, out of alignment, so it needs to be refocused, which is proving to be slightly difficult. And then Babalax comes out and he's like, It wouldn't be so damned hard if that Golgari numbskull hadn't have dropped it in the first place! Ah! And then he says, Gregor! And somebody up on the the catwalk goes, yes, Dr. Babalax. It's like, call Zonot 2 and tell them we'll need to postpone by three more days to recalibrate this. And goes back to swearing. Mm. And then she goes, okay, huh. so yeah, um, it's a little bit difficult. Um, uh, Doc, can, do you have your paperwork ready? Uh, yes, yes, we do. We okay, do. perfect, I... yes. Uh, Dr. Babalax, uh, if you could just quickly sign the sausage thing so we can get the civvies out of the lab. And he goes, ah, 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 don't write yes, and he pulls out a pen. Ooh, and you he... calm down. <coughs> Excuse me. And Ismola's holding open the book for him, and he goes, ah, and of course, you'll let me know how your investigation goes, Ismola. Thank you for agreeing to assist her in this regard. Uh, and like, not, not, not kind of like shoots a glance over at his Mola. He was like, he, like, of course you need my extremely valuable signature. His Mola told me it was very important that you got the sausage thing signed. So of course you'll be helping her track down the Golgari several yep. um, translatable squares and goblin. Who did this to not, my precious? Not, co not covers Valencia's ears. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> uh, to my nice. precious box Ooh. conduit. That Golgari person was really handsome. <sighs> and he signs it. And he says, I look forward to hearing that he has been dealt with and handed to the authorities. Did it go on to We yours? look forward to doing that as well. <laughs> and his mom was like, hey, come with me to the lunchroom. Okay, while well, we're being ushered away, I very quickly pull up my paperwork and make sure it's been copied properly. Yeah, yeah the signature's okay. good. Okay. You guys okay. have your signature. Yay! 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 Signature get! Six of ten. So here's the deal. Uh-huh. Um, I, 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 I really, truly just wanted Babalax just to sign it, and I wasn't trying to get you guys but to involved in this, but... But he was very angry, and he and because this is like a really big thing that he's doing with Zonot Two, uh, that's like got like official like government sanctions. Uh, he he uh, 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 has pulled guild funds to make me go and track down the Vogas guy, um, who broke the fire the pyromana flux conduit, and I was hoping you'd help me again. Um, I made a list of all the Vogosses that live in the Undercity. It's 800 names long. Um, so I was thinking we could start with Vogos Arenten. <laughs> and then Vogos Arenson. Brute forcing, huh? Well, I mean, that's sometimes that's how you have to do sciences. Um, anyhow, could, could you please help me? I'll help you with whatever you need to do. I always like more friends. Don't okay. we? Isn't that what friends do, man? Like, just help each other? I this like, is spreading the word of Selesnia. Can I, like, take the team to the side? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, like, guys, we're kind of on, like, a, a mission. I don't know if this necessarily will speed up the whole process. Well, I suppose it would be rude to... <sighs> They, they did manage to pull a few of the roadblocks out of the way for us in giving this signature. It's I'm sorry, did you say funding? Oh yeah, I got I got uh, official guild funding for this, so I used it. Hold on, one second. And she runs off, and she comes back two minutes later holding a duffel bag. Mm -hmm. She's like, you will love this. Just wait. 
Is it a tent peg? <laughs> no, it's very big though. Huh. Uh, I've got official funding and I know how to use it. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we can. S this is my mission, man. Like I'm out here to give back. No, you're you're uh, actually your yeah. mission is to get the signatures. <laughs> no, like I'm not talking about my mission, mission. Like it's my like mission, like my soul mission. Uh huh. Yeah. Ravnica needs us. Sorry, this is like my Boros mentality kicking it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's like type A. We were given we were given a job. We have not completed said job, and we're doing a side gig. <laughs> I oh, I. We aren't really on a time. But this isn't really time. So, what do you need us to do? I just I, I have a plan to go down to the Undercity and find that Vogos. Like I said, I've got a list of every Vogos. Whoa. Yo, we also haven't gotten, like, the Golgari signature yet. Maybe, maybe this is fate. Maybe this is actually the work of Vitu Ghazi, and it's meant to be. I, yeah, I can't think of any better way to get a Golgari signature than by hunting down a high-level druid. Yeah, being, yeah, let's... Play Hitman and... No, 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 like, maybe it just all I, We're not out. trying to kill him, we just have a bill. <laughs> that Pyromana Flux Conduit is worth, like, 400,000 Xenos. Alright. Oh, oh. That's a lot of money. And they just let you carry it around? <laughs> I was retrieving it because it had been confiscated. We were, Babalax and I were doing a field test and somebody phoned in a complaint. But how are we supposed to know how it was supposed to work in, when in contact with water? We had to go take it down to a waterway. Tracks. It was Our... upstream of the treatment plant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've got funding. I, I have no other idea of how we're going to get to meet the Golgari. Ooh. Yeah. So, like... Okay. You, you said you had an idea for tracking down Vogos, but you've just got a list of names? Yes, that's my idea. Enor, didn't you have something? I'll see if we can cross-reference the names that I've got from the back, back office with the West that she's got. Oh, well, here, read me some of your names. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, have you got a Vogus Muzboon? Yes! Okay, that's one. <laughs> Vogos the Vogosian. <laughs> Scourge of Vogosia. I've got three Vogos Vogosians. Okay, that checks. Um, yes. Vogos no, Tunt. I'm, I'm going to go pee to the board. I'm, and he like, goes to find a Yep, that's board. also on my list. Vogos Could you make me a perception check? <laughs> now, is perception what you meant there? Or... <laughs> Make you me any one? kind of doing your job check. Okay, that would actually be a history check then. Okay. <laughs> That's a 10. Ooh. Okay, what, what let's a do great this. Role. Let's do this a few more times then. Okay, yes, I do have Vogas Funt. Vogas Visfort. Yes, that one's also on my list. Does anybody else want to make me an, an, like any kind of figuring stuff out check? I don't care uh, what stat you I'll, use. I'll, I'll say this is an investigation. Ooh. Mo got a 20. Uh, I got a... 19. It I occurs to both of you yeah. at the same time that as Mola's list is every Vogos registered as living in the Undercity. So every name on Enor's <laughs> list will be on Vo will be on Ismola's list, too. I thought that's what she said at the, the start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're just going to go based on our list here, I think. Oh, all those names are on my list. Rad! <laughs> Excellent. Good listing. Great. I'm leaving this behind. And she like flings this 30 page piece of paper in the air. One of them starts just immolates because of all the electricity. At Gadsia, we weren't allowed to just get printouts. They were expensive. <laughs> oh, wait, I... hold on. She grabs a tiny fire extinguisher. <laughs> all right. You said you had a thing that you needed to do. She grabs her huge duffel bag. What's uh, what's in the bag? You'll see. It's a surprise. Ooh, I love surprises. You're gonna like it so much. I worked really hard on it. Have you ever I used made a surprise? The entire you... budget. Ooh. Have you ever found a surprise you don't like? Like ninety percent, ninety-nine point nine percent of the ones that come out of the Is It League, yes. Oh. Ooh. The Azoria Senate has never met a surprise that it didn't try to regulate out of existence preemptively. 
Man, I wore all my gear today. I was really not wanting to get all muddy and gross in the Golgari realm again. Okay, well, uh, Enor. <laughs> well, we should probably, hmm. Where do you think we should check first? We should just... I mean, how many names are on your list? Well, there's a number, but they've broken up into areas. We've got a few Vogosses in the Casina Depths. Number in the Dajo Gorge, some in the Banoff Plunge, and a Stitnik Fen list. Hmm. Hmm. What if we yeah. split up and look for clues? I mm. think you. I think as the DM, because I know that we had a late start. <laughs> I think you should follow up on the thing that you need to do at the university All first. All right. Well, we should definitely figure this out before. While we're here, do you guys mind if I make my stop in at the paper? Oh. Yeah. Sure, man. Right, I'll show you guys around. There. Ooh. Mm, the, ele the inelegance of a timed campaign. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, are you going to go there yeah. by yourself? Or are you going to oh, take no. everybody? Oh, I'll, I'll come. come along. Yeah. I don't think I've ever read a newspaper. One of the few places with a functioning printing press left here. We used to take copies of the, of the paper and go over them with red pen. <laughs> like looking for that. spelling errors? <laughs> Just for fun. Oh. Logical inconsistencies. <laughs> oh. It was how we had fun. Every day you come back, it's like, I'd like to point out all the following mistakes you've made. <laughs> yeah, a general question, is university always supposed to be sound this depressing? What are you talking about? <laughs> it was the best three years of my life. Oh, no! no you know what, I believe that. <laughs> three years? Wow! Keener! I, uh, I was granted an uplift. Congratulations. You must have missed out on the graduation party, though. Yeah. Yeah, I was studying. <laughs> I made that mistake a few times. This uplifting conversation takes place while you were walking back to the Student Union building. Yes. And so where are you heading? Headed straight into the where I remember the Student Union where I remember the Student Union paper being in the basement next to the bar. That's right. In the <laughs> Oh, U of A. <laughs> yes. So in the quiet dark basement, which was actually in my notes. You can see several newspaper boxes overflowing with back issues of unread and unloved copies of the Starling, which is the Capisa Dirac University's newspaper. Everyone but Nog and Valencia will have to duck to enter the office because there is a huge support beam that like, sure makes life. the door very short, like maybe five feet tall. Um, as you enter, several students look up from their typewriters and peer at you. And uh, um, a sort of a, a, a human girl comes up and says, um, Hi, how can I help you? I'm Kuna. I'm editor-in-chief of the Starling. Kuna, good, good to meet you. I was uh, sent over here. I've recently become a fan of King Gizzard and the Wizard Wizard, and I was looking to speak with Matic. Wait, King Zizor and the War Boar. We can, we can yeah. bleep that part right, that out, right? We're not yep, going to get that. copyright strike. <laughs> yeah, Matt. Wait, Matt. that was a rep. No. You want to talk to Matic, and you're a fan of King's Icor and the War Boar. He is in the photography room. The photography room is over that way. Red. So you walk through the crowded office, which has a paste up table in the middle, and everybody's like, what is going on? Because of, all call, or of course, there's five people in guild insignia here. Right. One of whom is humping an enormous bag. Two yeah. of whom are cops. Yeah. Wait, wait, I, another cop. I pick Law up a copy of the Starling. Lock cops and beat cops. Yeah. It's like there's th You're doing that in front of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. I'm like just gonna find a crossword. Oh. oh. I thought you were I thought you were gonna correct you, like you pull it's out a, a red a, marker. It's a blue pen. Yeah. Molander. Oh. oh. Nog's Nog, Nog got his lance like over his uh, his shoulder. Mm. And he's like making eye contact with like the students. And, like, All the students are like, what the hell? Stay in school. So what's the hot new comic this year? Uh it's Called Mox Trot. Yeah, Mox Trot. You come up with that on the spot? That was really good. Yeah, that was much better than what I was going to do. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's Mox Trot. Any, anyhow, here's the photography room. And, and, and uh, so Kuna knocks on the door and she goes, knock, knock, knock. Hey, Matic, there's five people in uniform here, two from the Azorius here to see you. I don't know why they would need to see you. I actually have some firm ideas about why they'd need to see you. <laughs> so I'm going to need to see you after this. Please, go on in. What a suspicious introduction. <laughs> so, 
How are we gonna play this? Good cop, bad cop? I'm just here for some supplies. No. Hey, Maddox! I mean, you must be Maddox. I'm low. <laughs> he's, he's, Maddox is about 23 years old. He's a human male. He's got long blonde hair and a ponytail and a big beard. Ooh, and he's wearing a, a band t shirt. Uh, and he goes, Huh? Well, come in. Welcome to my photography room. Please shut the door behind you. Cool. Come in. <laughs> come in. Hello. Is it just you in here? Uh, do you guys want to come in? No, I come in here. I'm at the bar. Okay. <laughs> not yeah, not just... looking like particularly like, like he's he's playing bad cop in this situation. <laughs> well, Ander, what like, are you doing? I'll go to the bar with I'll go to the bar with Avenir. Okay. Avenir, Avenir, Avenir. Avenir. Hello. Hi. What could what what could possibly bring you here, Boros Legion and Azoria Senate member? My name's Enor, and this is Nog, and we're just off trying to get some signatures. Oh, but, I. Uh, oh, that's. Exciting. I recently became a fan of a band called King Zygor and the Warbore. Yes, they're very popular. Yeah, one of the friend, one of the people I was watching with let me know that there's something that might make the experience even more interesting. I have no idea what an Azorius law mage could be talking about. Oh. Right, I'm um, just... It's a thing that's perfectly natural. Ah, I only get that from my cousin. He's a Steven Dog out of the docks. He's in Vogos's gang. He works in the Daniel Docks. Don't arrest me. I'm even on a scholarship. Ah! So, wait. So, <laughs> wow. Over this, you hear Avenir say, $17 for a pint. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good cut. <laughs> Kid, I'm not going to be able to get too much here if it's 17 up my... You're not holding them is what you're saying. What? Sorry. What? No. No. Talk to Biv. Talk to Biv. He's he's a stevedore down at the docks. He works for... He's at Vogas's gang. He just told me that my friends would like it and he had a line. Oh God, please don't arrest me. My mother will kill me. Wait, did you say Vogas? Vogas's gang? Yes. Hey, what a delightful coinkidink. Turns out th this this was the information we needed the whole time. It's surprising that it happened this easily, but... Yeah. So I've heard Vogos is a very common name, but he just dies under the desk. <laughs> well, that worked out really well. Yeah, apparently we just need to go down to the docks. Then we can get Vogos and what I need to enjoy my music times. Yeah. Um... So I say we're going to go catch up with them. But, but first, yeah. let's head to the bar. Yeah, well, yeah, that, I meant catch up with these guys. We yeah. got some stuff I need you to try. All right, before, as we're, like, leaving, is like... Oh, as you leave, leave, you open the door, yeah. and every other single member of the university newspaper, the staff is there with their ears pressed against yeah. it. Uh, Nog turns around. And, Hello! Like, him and Valencia, like, uh, go back, like, into the room because he's under the desk, right? Yes, he's yeah. hiding and, like, softly weeping. Yeah, he, we, like, kind of come back around. Nog, kinda, Nog pokes his head on one side of the, de under ah! the desk and, like, Valencia pokes his head on one side of the ah! desk. And it's just like, we'll always be watching you. Ah! And then, like, they slowly back away and leave the room. That's right, I have an alumni subscription. <laughs> Tammy, do you know our... <laughs> Stay in school, kids! We're... Nobody's leaving school. We're all... It's just... It's just catchphrase. I'm just... I, I became a cop so that I could say things like that. Uh, anyhow. Really? This year's production of The Implicit Maze got four and a half stars? Huh. We catch up with you guys at the bar. Yeah. How's your beer? Oh, I'm it's fine. so much. It's Although just like a constant stream of consciousness is coming from this guy. Like, talking about beer and theater, it's amazing. I haven't got a word in it at all. Apparently, one of the productions was interrupt. One of the productions of The Implicit Maze was interrupted when this giant, like, enormous thing with, with like, flying and indestructible shot out of the stage. It was... They still... Somebody had to unsummon it. Are they still doing the thing in the paper where they'll let you print three lines for free in the classifieds? Uh, let's check it out. I know a few people were actually using it as a, uh, as a loophole to get published. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 
How's it going, guys? You know, they still water the drinks. Yeah, we traumatized somebody. Just one? Uh, I mean, maybe we set some kids straight. <laughs> <laughs> but also, we got some information. The day's young for traumatizations. Ooh, okay, what'd you find out? We found out where Vogas' gang might be. Ooh. Turns out this kid's getting drugs from the exact guy that we're looking for. Down at the docks. What an incredible coincidence. Yeah, I feel like there's some sort of guiding hand to everything that we do. Wait, do we, like, do we know if it's the same Vogoth? Like, weren't there 800 Vogoths? Is, isn't it a very common name? It's an incredibly common name. However, by my strong feelings of investigation, I would like to think that the Vogoth who is attached to a gang may be the Vogoth we want to check first. Also, what the dick, Molander? You're optimistic like 99% of the time, but the one time we get a lead that seems pretty good, you're like, hmm, hold on. Well, I don't want to, like, I don't know. I don't want to crash or blame the wrong person for something, man. I wonder if we're having a bad influence on this guy. I'd hope so. <laughs> so where are we going, says his Mola, who didn't come on this journey with you to the newspaper office to to make people upset? We're going down to see someone named Belbiv the Vo at the docks. Biv Stoodler. Biv Stoodler of the docks? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you wrote something down. I didn't remember the name. Look, I assume that these are all names I've heard before and therefore remember. All right, so we're, so the docks? Like the Dagil docks? That... So are there more Mola? than one docks? I mean, that's the closest docks. That must be it. <laughs> well, I guess the bag will come in handy. Okay, let's what? go. What is in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> oh, you'll see. It's a surprise. <laughs> She's so excited. I love surprises. It's expensive. I'm going to die It's in a bag. <laughs> it's related hundreds. to water. Oh, right. So. Yeah. There's no interrogation. There's no follow-up. It was just right. like, the docks, no first name. <laughs> yep. Let's go. <laughs> what, what are you looking for? Biv what? Biv, Biv Stoodler. I can't wait. <laughs> well, and luckily for me, I don't have to wait very long. Because Dajjal Gorge is very close by. It's just a few stops on the Drava line, which connects to the oh. Kapitza Direct station. Uh, oh, and it takes you to the, lo the six district locks. Basically, because the Sens of Under River has mm. been gone over, but freight still travels by river. They have locks in the sixth district to bring up barges loaded with heavy, like super heavy or like Ooh. really large things mm. that would be impractical to unload and carry to the over city. Mm. So they have the locks there where they lower and, row and barges, but also just like this is where warehouses and importers and exporters are. This is where apples from the Cardinian mountains go. Oh, okay. Mm. If they go off to the other districts and this is where just things that aren't made here come in. So this is a very busy place. Um, so you get out at the closest subway station and you just see porters and laborers and like beasts of burden with like boxes and people loading things and things that have been spilled are being picked back up and it's, you know, you know, it's a very, it's an RPG scene. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, there's, a, a it sort of like opens up the dot, the, the locks are on one side and there's like a cobblestone plaza with like importers and stuff like that, okay. like freight brokers and stuff. You need anything to any district, we'll get it there kind of hmm. thing. You know, no manifest required, you know, on the windows. <laughs> right, right, and, right. But also here is a huge metal staircase that is this big metal spiral staircase that descends down into the Undercity. Oh. And it has the Golgari Guild insignia, like, raised above it, uh, cast out of wrought iron. It's slightly Ooh. rusty now because it's quite moist here because it's close to the river. Hmm. Hmm. Who are we looking for? Biv Studler. B-I-V? B-I-V. Okay. Ah. So we're going down into the Undercity? That seems to be what we're doing. Okay. Follow me to this alley. <laughs> wait, 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 what? All right. Okay. So as Mola puts down the bag, and she goes, So, I knew we'd have to go back to the Undercity, and the first time we were in the Undercity, we had problems getting information out of people because we didn't look like we are from the Undercity. Right. Yes. And so, uh, I explained this, to Babalax, and I said it was very hard to track people down in the Undercity. And then he Ooh. said, okay, well, how would you solve the problem? And of course, I'm in the cosplay club, so I thought, costumes! And then he said, well, how do we make money solve the problem? So I hired the cosplay club, and I came, and I got costumes for all of you guys, so you would blend in. Hi, here, Avenir, look at your costume, which is going to come up on the overlay. 
What? Oh! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> you know what? Here's what I had made for you. Oh. I had to guess on your measurements. <laughs> Red! Nog, uh, we had this left over from our production of the Implicit Maze, but I had it tailored to, for your big arms. Oh, thank you. Oh, ah, <laughs> and, and Molander, I, I, here, I hope this works for you. I love surprises. Ooh. Oh, dang. My you rope, look... my rope is just thicker and more damp. All right, hold on. Now I need to put makeup on you guys. And she's got lots of stippling brushes. Yeah. Like, it's great. Here. Here you go, Melander. Yeah, so I've got like these bug eyes and like ear things now, so I kind of look like more insectile. Like, I like it. Well, this yeah, you're incredible. a crawl. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. No, Ian's a crawl. Sorry, yeah. Ian, Ian's a crawl. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You're, 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 yeah, you're... Some type of bug thing? Like, what? Well, what? you're an elf. Yeah, there's, he's a Golgari shaman. The Golgari. Yeah. Oh, I just look like a Golgari shaman now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Cut it. it goo. What and about, what about Valencia? Yeah. Uh, that, Valencia that... is... Just a dog because they still have dogs in the underworld. Okay. okay. Should she not wear her armor? She Should we like mod her fur a bit? She could, she could take off her dog armor. Yeah, she I, I think that. Like a normal if, dog. I think yeah, she's looking are, very regal today. I love are, this so much. Are these costumes credible or do we look like larpers? No, you look and you look fantastic. Okay. These costumes were worth every bit of the two thousand xenos we spent on them. These are incredible. I'm in love with Avenirs. <laughs> <laughs> what, Avenir, what are you? Are you like some type of elemental? He's a slime elemental. Yes. <laughs> That's me. It's uh, very hot in here. So yeah, uh, in the bag, then I guess, uh, I can. is it okay if I use this bag to store all the armor and whatnot in? Yeah, totally, fine. Okay, okay so I take all the armor off of uh, Valencia. And presumably and, arc and, stuff too. Well, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I'm so sorry about this girl. And like, I pick up like moths of like, like dirt off the ground and kind of like, Muss up her fur yeah, yeah. and stuff like that to, to make her look like a dirty dog. Ismola also has a costume, which oh. is, but not pictured here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so. I love this so, so much. So everybody is all now dressed up. <laughs> we knew nothing about this. No, yeah, that's <laughs> actually this is such a good surprise. <laughs> this, is wild. this is a surprise for our players as well. Uh, all right. Okay. It's time to go to the Under City. Yay! Yay! See, I told you, surprises always work out, man. You know what? I'm infinitely more excited about this. Also, Worried that my distinct lack of armor is going to really hurt me, <laughs> but well, let's just not get into any fights, we'll, okay? We'll let's... say that you have a little bit of armor underneath your zombie outfit. Okay. I'm going to assume I have the exact same amount of armor because a robe is a robe. The costume Ooh. club being far too practical is actually wo woven an armor class directly into the costume. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyhow. Just remember, like... I don't think we made a very good impression with that flower dealer last time we were in Yonder City, so we should probably we, steer clear. We didn't make a good impression. Well, look, <laughs> we're a team. We succeed together and we fail together. That's, That's what the Selesny have taught me. Right. Work yeah. together. I don't. Uh, I don't agree with that sentimentality. <laughs> oh. In the Azoria Senate, we indemnify ourselves against failure by our coworkers. I don't know what that word means. Uh, it means you progress. Yes. Oh. Cover your ass. Oh. Not just for others, but for yourself. <laughs> Should I be not talking since I'm dressed up and he like looks like a zombie? Question mark. You can just go like, Bleh! but like do it in a meaningful way so he'll know what you're saying. Bleh. That means thank you for the costume, Ms. Mola. Right? Bleh. These are spectacular. What a great idea. Yeah. I'm so happy. What's Ms. Mola dressed as? Uh, Ms. Mola is dressed as another crawl. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. She's having a great time. Crawl pearls! You give each other a double <laughs> high five because the arms are connected, so like by like a little oh, like, yeah. thin string, so you can like two arms move at once when you pick up oh the one God. arm. <laughs> Alright, let's, I mean... Ismol is practicing her dance moves because it's quite fun. Alright, downstairs! Yeah, Alright, let's go! Is she, is she doing the Haruhi? Yeah. <laughs> Leak spin! This is incredible. So you are in luck because remember Ooh. you were worried about that flower merchant? Yeah. You're going to a different neighborhood. Ah, uh, good. You are going to Dajjal Gorge. Okay. You are not okay. going to the Kazina Depths. And as you descend down the stairway, you know, you sort of think to yourself, man, does the Undercity generally deserve the bad rap that it gets? 
Hmm. Like, I mean, the common conception there, the place is a hotbed of crime where every street corner is going to hide a murderer, a monster, or a little act, literal actual vampire. But the reality is considerably less interesting in most, part, most parts of the hmm. Undercity that you've been to. In all honesty, the most dangerous thing in the Undercity these days tends to be realtors, which can be found roving in packs, preying on elderly homeowners with property close to subway stations. <laughs> oh. However, that's not Dodge El Gorge. <laughs> oh. oh. So you exit the stairs and you find yourselves at the entrance to the Dodge All Docks, which, aside from the darkness, humidity, crime, and smell, is very much like the Overcity above it. <laughs> uh, but then it's just like buzzing with activities. You can see that there's like a, a gate that says, you know, docks this way. Right. And there's a crawl who's directing traffic in and out and like clearing people out of the way if like a big barge has to be uh, has to be floated down to the locks and stuff like that. And so he's mm. sort of like just directing the flow of everything that's going on. Um, I mean, I suppose we could ask. I also have as one of my languages, thieves can't, mm. which is like, it, it wouldn't be under common or whatever, but you know, I'm, I'm keeping my eyes, eyes open for like any markings Ooh. that might indicate the presence of a gang mm. or like buy drugs here. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, go. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could talk to people. You could make me investigate roll. What do you I, feel like doing? I, I'll, I'll make an investigate roll. Sure. To see if I can get any leads on on this guy. Mm-hmm. Boof, huh? I'll do the same thing on the other side of the streets. I mean, is is it cred- credible for a, a, a slime elemental? Oh yeah. Okay. This these costumes give you take away all of your minuses to talking to people oh. because the light is bad down here because it's mm-hmm. the undercity, and uh, many people are. Uh, they just, you know, they're you, they're just going to assume you blend right in. The costumes right. are that good. Like I said, 2,000 Xenos. <laughs> I mean, it seems worth it. Uh, 19 on Investigate. Ooh. All right. If you look carefully, mm-hmm. you can see that there are some Thieves Can't markings that, uh, that uh, say uh, number four. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. You know, or how do you do? Let's have a look. Are you going to talk to people? Or are you going to investigate? I'm going to investigate buildings, looking for anything that doesn't look correct in terms of drawings for the area. Or okay. Standard architecture for the area. Ooh, that's terrible. That's a ten. All like the 12. buildings seem fine. Mm. Yep. Okay. Are so, there... dock number four. Yeah. Or pier four. Uh, wharf number four. Wharf four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, Not... hey. Nog shambles along. There's a community <laughs> announcements board at Ooh. the entrance to the dockyard. Yes, Ooh, please. What does it yeah. say? Always information here that's worthwhile. There are no announcements, but someone has helpfully nailed up a dead rat. <laughs> I take one of the claws. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, guitar lessons. <laughs> Never know when you'll need a rat. Yes, oh. you do. <laughs> Never. If I need one, it's here. What if you want to eat rat? That would be an instance in where you need to eat, you need a rat. You're both correct and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. So you head over to Wharf 4? Yes. All right. Well, you see there's a boat being unloaded, so people are hauling crates off. The crates appear mm-hmm. to be marked with, like, the 7th District watermark. Okay. So they, maybe they're produce or something. I don't know. They mm-hmm. don't seem particularly suspicious, but you haven't looked inside them. Uh, there's people coming and going. There's uh, uh, a guy smoking, leaning on a broom, watching what's going on. He appears mm. to be the supervisor. Okay. Uh, well, then, I mean, I suppose I'll approach the supervisor. All right. Uh, looking for Biv? What do you want? Just heard he's the man to talk to. Ooh. About? <laughs> this guy is a human, by the way. Okay. He does have kind of maybe blondy brown hair. It's very hard to tell because it's very dark down here. I was just sent by a friend at, uh, at KDU. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you looking for stuff? <laughs> I don't know if I got that much stuff. 
I don't think I can sell you that much stuff at once. You're going to have to talk to my boss. Mm. Well, but what's in it for me? Forty percent, you say. Thirty-five is fair. All right. That's the best bit of diplomacy I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I'm taking notes. Like, wow, no, you're amazing. I should, yeah, I definitely should have made you roll for this. Yeah. 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 All right, right. Roll play. You go up to you go up to Skrulk Mansion. You tell him Biv sent you. Blech. And like he like he holds up like a zombie like fist bump. <laughs> like motion for you guys. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh. I got. Uh, hey, hey, hey! Don't bruise that. Just careful. I gotta. I gotta get Niv. back to work. Ooh. Wait, Viv, 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 Viv. Just yeah, lean over. Like, I, I have no idea how I did that. Yeah. What did you say? I, I, I'll be honest. <laughs> it was like a, it was a mixture of like guttural and goblin, and apparently I, I know a whole other language I wasn't wow. aware of. Do you speak undead? I. I Yes, Mo. Oh. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. So where are we going? Uh, something mansion? Skrulk Mansion. Skrulk Mansion. Cool, Whichever. that sounds exciting. Which, yeah. If I remember correctly, Skrulk Mansion is... 10. Somewhere in Dajjal Gorge. Somewhere around, still with here within Dajjal Gorge. Uh, it, 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 it's 20. 20? Uh... I've patrolled here once or twice. Oh, okay. Uh, I think you you do remember that on the outskirts of this neighborhood, there is uh, an old mansion. Somewhere? Mm. Somewhere off on the outskirts. I've heard, I've seen, I've seen a rickety old place. Uh, I'm sure, though, we could also ask for directions along the way. Mm. Apparently, <laughs> par apparently I'm a Casanova on the docks as a zombie. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go then. Yeah. Yep. All right. So you start I heading... I start to lead on, I guess, the direction I know. Ismola is very excited. Okay. And she's just like, I'm in disguise. I'm in disguise. I'm in I start disguise. saying, what's like? I'm in, in disguise. disguise. And Nog's like, in disguise. Oh, we're, we're in disguise. disguise. We're in disguise. We're in disguise. <laughs> we're in disguise. <laughs> we're in disguise. <laughs> we're these guys. Yeah! Avenir has misheard the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. We're, in like skies. Skies. <laughs> We're in the skies. We're in the skies. So you walk down. It's it's dark. The the streets are narrow and windy. Mm. Uh, but you pass. You go to maybe a slightly better look, better lit intersection, and you can see there's a business open. It's a it's a hot dog place. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Uh, you think we have time for a quick bite before we head to the mansion? At least find out if they know where the mansion is. Ooh. Mm. Yes. Naga Valencia are already walking, shambling over. Yeah. Oh, excellent. There are no coincidences. Valencia's trying to like also emulate my like I'm I'm walking like with the leg behind. Mm. With the, the zombie drag. Yeah, the, the traditional zombie walk. <laughs> I'm doing the thriller at times. <laughs> yeah. So you go into the hot dog restaurant. Yeah. Uh, there's an elderly crawl woman who's there and she's like, Hello. Welcome. Sit down. <laughs> Check Ooh. out today's specials. What is today's special? Today's special is Golgari Slime Dog with sprouts and mushrooms, other city style. Uh, what, what's in the slime? I don't know. Ooh, mystery slime. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. Ah, so uh, five then? Yes. Or one for the dog? Bleh. Ah, six, all right. She gives you, she brings out is that will be 1.5 Zeno, please. All right. I'll take uh, care of this one. Oh, oh okay. Thank you. I was going to put, I, I was going to motion at Ismola. Hey, oh. hey, while we're here, you wouldn't have to know the fastest way to Skrulk Mansion, would you? <laughs> this is two levels of accent. It's amazing. <laughs> I, you. You are not from this part of the Undercity, are you? No, we're, we're here vacationing, visiting some family. Oh, I would, 
I know that a lot of people go up there to take pictures because it's kind of exciting and they do all oh, the abandoned mansion thing. It's not actually abandoned and some very bad people work there. Don't go up there. Oh. What's the best way to avoid it then if we don't want to be sitting <laughs> nearby? Right. Okay, definitely do not walk up the hill after this past where the vampires hang out. Also, don't go near the vampires. You seem very soft. Are you all from Cozina Depths? Uh, was it? Uh, is, just had a fresh malt. Uh, was it that obvious? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> when, you do, when, you, when you do that voice, you see dogs like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Undercity gets more gentrified all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, don't go that way. Just don't go that way. Go we totally to won't go that way, man. I can't Thanks. believe that Looney Tunes investigation technique was. <laughs> <laughs> so, you eat your hot dogs. Mm -hmm. I have bad news for you. Mm. They are worth every of the 25 zibs you paid for them. Oh. Uh. They're not very good, but they are guaranteed to have calories. Okay. Like I mean, all the basic gruel. Uh, uh, nutritious gruel. but not delicious? Yeah. yeah, it's like very low grade pressed mm. protein. Some, slime. It's a soylent tube. Sometimes we have to buy a little food just to slime the wheels. Well, I don't think you guys have eaten yet today hmm. either, so it's probably good to get something. Low blood sugar is probably not good this, in an investigation. This is like a reminder of what we're doing, man. We'll save people from this. Wait, is the waiter, is the waitress like still beside no, us? No, she went. Okay. Yeah. There's like one lady who like cooks hot dogs while smoking over the grill. Like, you know, she's right. fine. She's back watching whatever crawl soap opera she's watching. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's a guy with five arms who's very magnificent looking and there's two other crawl of indeterminate gender who are fighting over him and, and an arm has been pulled off and it's very dramatic. Oh. <laughs> yeah. like, Is there a musical interlude? Oh, it turns out it's only a fake arm. So now, oh. it, you know, now there's there, there's hand, there's chance of betrayal. I bet he grows that arm back within three episodes. Isn't that how that works? She gets bored and switches it to Plains Ball. Oh. Who's winning? <laughs> Who's winning? The, uh... The Sky Knights. Yeah, they stink. <laughs> One day we'll break the curse. The actual literal curse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. I guess Nog not has to whisper whenever he's not talking about it. We should probably get the red do the okay. thing. Alright. Thank you for the food. Yeah. yeah. Where? Did she, did she say vampire? <clears throat> did she say vampires? Uh, like I totally I, heard vampires. Yeah. That's what I heard. There's no such thing as vampires. As long as we don't let ourselves in, we should be fine. <laughs> it's like you're you're an undead. <laughs> Is it just like vampires hanging out on the street smoking, wearing well, dungarees, yeah. <laughs> having <laughs> a squat? I I mean, what is the level of like are are vampires everywhere? Yeah, there's vampires in the Undercity. Yeah, yeah, there's also vampires in the in the Orzov, right? Like yeah, yeah. vampires yeah. are just another one of the races yeah. that are around. They're just people. Yeah, mm. well, former people. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who eat other people. So I retract yeah. my statement and said, I go, yeah. I mean, it's just vampires. Yeah. I've eaten a lot on this trip so far. I ran into one at the, like the Ravnican version of Levi's the other day. <laughs> So, as you as you walk up the hill, sort of mm -hmm. behind this crappy hot dog place, staffed by a helpful old lady, uh, you do notice, in fact, thank you, Cameron, a pack of three cool-looking uh, people who have very white skin and very cool clothes who are smoking on a street corner. Do they have like pompadours? They don't have pompadours, oh but they 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 look very uh, they look very sad, but proud to be sad. <laughs> Is we emo vampires on the street? <laughs> <laughs> Vampires don't like, aren't interested in zombies, mm -hmm. right? So they don't, they don't take an interest in you. Let's but see. They, they smell you too. You guys fancy coming in for a drink? <laughs> We're a little bit busy right now, but perhaps the on accent. the way back. 
Well, a little bit busy right now, but perhaps on the way back. No, <laughs> no the crawl one, not the vampire <laughs> accent. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little bit busy right there you now. go yeah, there we go all right got there perhaps we'll return in my in my version of this you said that three times yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that happens in my version of this too yeah. <laughs> i hear it's polite if you reject them three times yeah uh so the vampires look at you and they're like can you catch that if you drink the blood can you catch like goop? that's fine <laughs> just keep walking <laughs> Ooh. And they sort of give you one of these, but they let you go because they're weirded you out. Around. <laughs> now they're really weirded out. If is Mola for her part plays it cool by saying, "We're in disguise. We're, We're in disguise. disguise. We're, We're in disguise. disguise. We're, We're in disguise. disguise." Yeah. And they're and the vampires, and you could just overhear them, and they're like, "Bogos's stuff gets stronger all the time." <laughs> I have an ear. I had no idea these two were so good at like tomfoolery and like faking people out. Well, you know, it's it's a horseshoe effect, really. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, I'll explain to you when they're out of earshot. Oh, <laughs> deal. So after some excitement, you finally you get out of the Dodge All Gorge sort of suburban, gross, disgusting crime area, mm -hmm. uh, and you come across like an old bridge that's like fairly fairly well maintained, and. <clears throat> So, and it leads to an old abandoned mansion, and it's a grand stone house that was probably home to a very wealthy merchant, probably who made their trade, you know, importing and exporting along the river a couple of hundred years ago. Ooh. But as the city rose around it, and the bridges and the footbridges and all the tall buildings basically turned this from a beautiful part of the city into a disgusting stink sewer filled with crime and vampires and low-grade Golgari hot dogs, the mansion was abandoned and uh, lay uh, derelict for many years. And so now it is a mostly crumbling ruin. The, there is a stone wall that surrounds the grounds to the mansion, mm -hmm. and there's a gate that has fallen over, uh, and all of the windows on the bottom floor, except for one, which is broken, mm -hmm. are boarded up, <clears throat> and there is a door. There's the bottom floor is totally dark. The top floor, however, is brimming with light that is sort of poking out through like Ooh. not very well covered windows that have like blackout cloth mm. in them. You can see just like light coming through like cracks and stuff like that. Not very oh. subtle. All right. Uh, is the gate alarmed? I don't know. We should we should check. Well, they also like Biv. Mm -hmm. Biv. Biv, Biv just said we could walk up and be like, yo, Biv sent us. I mean, it worked pretty well when we got the gruel, mm. just going in the front door. It seems like it means that they're expecting, maybe not us, but they're expecting people. Well, mm. nobody's expecting us. We're in disguise. I mean, We're yeah. We're in disguise. Do we just show up, buy 20 grams, and have to play Super Nintendo for a while? <laughs> it's been a while, but I can bust these bad boys out. <laughs> so Small is like, okay, so if this guy's a drug dealer, he's definitely probably got the 400,000 Xenos the Is It League wants to cover the cost of the Pyromana Flux Conduit, right? Probably. Excellent. He probably also has the drugs. Let's not bring that out as our first part of conversation. But that's why we're here. Yep. But also, I don't want to die. We've got these great disguises. I think the moment you hand them a bill from the Is It League, they might not work anymore. I hear if you just die in a disguise, you also die in real life. I don't think anyone's ever said that before. <laughs> I don't think anyone's had to say that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? Hmm. You can, uh, I will say that you're yep. safely ensconced behind the stone wall peeking in. Hmm. Okay. Right. Do you want to, like... You... Mm, you're a, investigate. You're a wizard. Do you have like the tech magic or anything? Nope. So I our job realize... is making the magic, not finding out where it is. Yeah. yeah. What are like what are like our goals? Because we found the place. Yeah, we want to get in. Just walk in and say hi. But then what? Well, Ismola wanted us to deliver the bill. Are, oh wait, are we are we even if we just hand them the bill? Why not just like, you know. 
knock it on the door and run away. No, it's it got to it's it's a, it's got to be signed upon mm. receipt. Oh. Hmm. 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 Maybe hmm. there's someone here who can sign on behalf of Vogos. No, I think it's probably better be Vogos. Mm. Is he a high-ranking enough member that his signature would count on the uh, on the on, on the Ravnican sausage dealio? He might just be a criminal. Yeah, I mean, which actually, can you check your document and see which Vogos this is? I can see who Vogoses are in uh, Dagil Gorge. Let's see, Vogos Crank Torque, Vogos Gostink, Moraoka, Elsk Funt, Herline, Vizfort, and Zvaknov. Are any of those elven names? I should, I should know that. I'll roll for it. You might know that. Oh, yeah. I, you are an Yeah, elf. I speak elven. Um, <laughs> so, is one of those elven? Or is Vogos just Well, the other name? thing, so there's two things they could be. I speak both elven and sylvan. Hmm. Sylvan is unique druidic language, so oh. if it's druidic, I would recognize that, and if it's elven, I would recognize it. So I could point either of those out. Wait, the dude was a druid, wasn't he? Mm. Yeah. A super sexy elf druid. It's like super my wheelhouse. Stupid sexy elf druid. Uh, I, I, do you want me just to pick one, or is there actually yes. one in there? Here, let me give you Ian's sheet. Yeah, oh, okay. <clears throat> the ones that are, the ones that are checked off? The one's in Dagel Gorge. Yep. Oh, ah, there we go. There is no further inf hard information. All right, that is, one sounds, oh, I thought you had a list of addresses. As well. That one sounds pretty goblin-y. This, uh, this one was the list of Crank every... Oh. Ian said he was looking that for every... Kind of or, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Enor said that he was looking for every Vogos that yeah. was registered against large property mm -hmm. in the Undercity. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yo, Vogos Muralka is very, very elfish. Hmm. Very hmm. classic, classic elfish first name for men. Muralka. This flows off the tongue in Elven. Hmm. It's good as any. Okay, well, presuming that this guy is a high-ranking Golgari druid, or maybe even just a mid-ranking one, his signature might or might not satisfy the conditions of the magic for the agreement, especially if it's gotten under, like, false pretenses or duress. That probably won't work. Yeah, also doesn't prevent him from killing us if we hand him a bill for 400,000 Xenos. I yeah. can hand him the bill after you get him to sign the thing if that makes it easier for you guys. I like that. I would definitely make it to getting the... <sighs> getting the thing signed. All right, so let's go inside then, as Wallace says as she stands up and starts a, walking inside. Let's make it a big assumption that he's the same person. I like your moxie, kid. Are you going to do anything about that? Uh, uh, I'm going to walk with you. <laughs> is Mola, maybe we should just think about this for one more second. <laughs> Not really a strength of the is it league. No, not, no, I recognize that, and that's why the up we... with it. She's like, no, I like this plan. Alrighty, so no, dude, you don't let the red line characters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, guess, I guess we're going in. No, we're in disguise. No, no, we're no, 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 disguise. no, 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 no. You're supposed to listen. All right, so, uh, so, so, Molander, Nog, and Ismola start walking into the front, into the garden. And Valencia. And Valencia. Uh, which is great because a guard is doing a patrol, Ooh. and he, re he immediately goes, "Hey, what are you doing here?" Uh, Niv sent us. At uh, Niv, Liv. Liv. Biv. Biv, Biv sent us. Niv or Biv? Biv. He says, grabbing a short sword. Biv, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he said. I think I think the guard is pretty suspicious since you said Niv and Biv, and also you just strolled in. So I think roll me some initiative. Damn oh, it! Okay. Move. Oh, hold up. <laughs> In response to that, I, can I cast? In response, <laughs> can I cast a silent image uh -huh. of uh, Vogos? You don't know, do you, uh, the guy you we see looks like. Have it, in a sense that he steps out from behind us from an angle that the guard could not have seen. Okay. Yes, you yes. can do that. And have him point at the guard and make a shh motion. The guard looks at this, goes, ah, and then looks back at you guys and says, what the hell is this? We're here on official business. This is an inspection. What, what do you mean an inspection? We're in this, we're, God damn it, both of you. <laughs> You're so, ah. Well, I forgot his name. 
All right, what's your initiative? Definitely uh, the best time to speak Enor. up. Then. <laughs> what's your What's your initiative, team? Enor. God damn it, Serge. Twelve. I. That was possibly fine. Uh, Avenir. Seven. Avenir's just looking at things that are happening. Nog and Valencia. All around uh, him. Nog's got 15, Valencia's got 18. Are you separate or together? Uh, we're separate. Separate? So, all right. Hold on. Nog. I thought you would be together. All right, Valencia is what? I mean, I can be. I just what? figured that like a zombie riding on the back of a dog would be like eh. weird. So, what was Valencia's uh, initiative? 18. 18. Da, 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 da. And uh, Melander, what's your initiative? 17. 17. It's going to be really awkward if I go first because I don't know what's happening. Uh, can we get the initiative? There we are. In fact, Valencia is going first. Ooh. Valencia, what are you going to do? Oh. There's, a, there's a guard who says, Inspection! And starts like r rushing at Enor. The guard has an index number. <laughs> How what how large is this guard? What 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 what's his deal? Uh, he is a standard humanoid looking human. Is he enough for like not uh, Valencia like charge at and just sort of like knock over and sit on him? Maybe. Okay. I think she could try that. Okay. She uh, Valencia so she could she could make it a post strength check. Yeah. To see if she can knock him down first sure. of all, I think. I like that idea. So how do I go about doing that? All right, you make me a strength check for Valencia. Ooh. Uh, I bounced between 18 and then hit 4, so it's a 5. I don't think... I think Valencia will then barrel into him, because yeah. he, uh, he he rolled a lot better on his strength stat than that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, But she will fail to knock him over. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, does Valencia want to do anything else? Or I think that's basically... I mean, that was my do. action for the turn, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Melander, it's your turn. I was like, well, this is awkward, because uh, I'm going to try Charm Person. Maybe we can get out of this fight. Or is Charm something typically you have to do before combat? It doesn't really no, work. You can do combat. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to attempt Charm Human. You attempt to Charm a humanoid you can see within range. Okay. You would, it must you make a do. wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage of you of your companions are fighting it. Oh. <laughs> but if it fails, it is charmed by you until the spell so ends. So I get advantage on my saving throw? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All so right, roll two my, of them. What am I trying to hit? You are trying to beat. Uh, my spell number on this is, uh, uh, I believe it's fourteen plus my my wisdom modifier, so it's eighteen. No, 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 no it's ten no, plus no, no, four. No, 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 no. It would be eight yeah. plus your proficiency bonus plus eight your wisdom modifier. That's what it is. So it's fourteen. It's fourteen. But I get advantage. Yeah. So roll two dice and pick the better one. Oh my gosh! I did make my save. That's so okay. I'm not charmed. That's fine. That makes sense. I was going to try and see if there's a non-violent way to get through this. Okay, that's and fair. I've been remembering the name. Yeah. <laughs> Nog, it's your turn, though. She's just like, oh, hey, don't I know you from some... No, no? Okay. Uh, well, Nog pulls out a sword from somewhere. <laughs> in that's his... fair. Yeah. And uh, I, I guess charges at the guy and uh, goes, Ah, zombie! He says, ah! Um... That would be a uh, 16. Uh, that is a hit. Roll me some damage. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to roll a d8. Uh, so that will be uh, 10 damage. Oh, wow. Uh, but on top of that, Ooh. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, because I'm going to surprise him because he was probably not prepared for a... Uh, a goblin no, zombie. He, he's quite he's quite surprised by everything that has happened so far. I can assure you of that. Uh, and I'm going to use my ability Fury of the Small, okay. so I'm going to deal damage also equal, uh, adding damage uh, to uh, equal to my level. So I, I add three damage. Oh, Ooh, thirteen. He, so you do thirteen damage to him. Yes, and also, <laughs> uh oh, because I haven't used this but even wait, once. I keep more. forgetting. We're like six episodes in. I use my ability uh, uh, Unwavering Mark. Okay. Uh, which is uh, basically if he moves away, or if he decides to, uh, he's basically marked and he gets disadvantage. Okay. Um, and if he tries to move away from me and hit somebody else, I get to do a special attack against him. So I'm kind of like, I guess, taunting him in a right. way. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that all happens. Yeah. And the guard looks extremely injured. So he uses his turn to tell, to yell, we're under attack! Hide the goods! Get down here! 
Ah, yes. so guard Edor, one was a sign of things right. to come. Yeah, sorry. So uh, just to clarify, when when it's with it, while it's within five feet of me, uh, it has disadvantage on any attack that doesn't target me. And if it decides to deal dam, if it deals damage to someone other than me, uh, I can make a special melee weapon attack uh, where I have advantage on the roll, and if it hits, it deals uh, damage extra damage equal to my half my fighter roll. Yeah, I haven't used that ability yet because it's got a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> So he doesn't move. He he sort of just does this. Yeah. And I think that's basically going to take his turn. Yeah, I freaked the crap out of him. So yeah. it's and he looks very upset and injured, uh, but he's going down with a fight. You know, it's your oh, turn. All right. Well, I'll yeah, imagine killing the guards is going to make him more happy to sign our stuff. I'll attempt to. I, d I super don't think you get to play the high road card. <laughs> Should add his mola to oh, uh, to uh, our initiative as well because she's here and she's she's excited. I'll cast ensnaring snake and. Ensnaring strike. Okay. An attempt to ensnare our. Does it do any damage? Friend. It does. Okay. It only works. It, it only it casts on its own. Uh huh. But it only hits if I hit with a physical strike. Okay. So that's a, a sixteen. That is a hit. Roll Great. me some damage. Okay. So now what happens is uh, you will be restrained by magical vines. Uh, when you start your attack. You will take a 1d6 uh, piercing oh, the damage. Piercing one of the okay. thorns, right? Yeah. And for the strike itself, the uh, damage is two. All right. Oh, so that's it? Yep, that's it right now. Two okay, well, entangled. in that case, he, he goes down because Nog almost bisected him with his oh. short sword. Yeah. So guard one is out of initiative, but uh, you hear some thumping coming from down the stairs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, and uh, uh, guard, uh. guards two and three pop out all of a sudden. Damn it. And they go. Boss! Gar and uh, that's Guard 3's turn. Oh, okay. I'm just like... <laughs> it's a good thing my drop in, in concentration. Avenir doesn't even know if he has his sword. <laughs> I'm going to assume that you have all of your gear. You're just hidden in these great costumes. I'm going to okay. assume that I don't have my lance with me. No, you yes. wouldn't have your lance. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to hide somewhere. Near the door, uh, like there's, there's got to be like I'm assuming a very Scooby Doo kind of mansion with a lot of like overgrown. Yeah, like, I'm gonna say that there are several and... like bushes and hedges that you could hide in. Okay. Uh, like behind some crumbly wall or something like that. You might not be super close to the action. I. If Vogos, if it is the same Vogos, he is a very powerful druid, mm. and I would like to hide somewhere in order to spunk him. On yeah. the back of the head with You're my sword. You're trying to get an ambush on him, right? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to move near the door. Okay. And then use my cunning action to hide. Okay. I'm going to allow that to happen. Okay. Guard two is going to come out and he's going to be like. Let's see what your hide check is. Look at all oh, of you. Oh, right. Yeah. Stealth 23. You're definitely hidden. The, the guard is going to come out and not notice anybody near the door. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, and then he is going to. Run at somebody randomly. Hooray. Uh, so I'll just roll a dice. Uh, Melander. Hi. There's a guy with a short sword, charging, a short sword charging towards you. No, 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 no. Biv sent us. Biv. He's, he's going to swing at you and miss. Whoa. <laughs> uh, and now Valencia, it's your go. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Valencia's going to bark, bark, and... Uh, Run at something and attack it. Probably the dude who ran at Mo. All right, Valencia, roll me some dam or roll me. Try to attack him. No, <laughs> because it's a five. Melander, there's a man trying to swing a sword at you. He has swung a sword at you, in Please. fact, and he has missed with Please his sword. Stop. Please stop. Um, I should probably do something that allows me to stop here. Um, I'm going to. There's uh, guard number two, which swung at me. Yes. <clears throat> Where is guard number two and guard number three in relation to guard other people? Guard number three is still at the door because he was he spent his turn calling for his boss. Okay. Um, would you say that guard number two and guard number three are within 20 feet of each other? Yes, we'll say that. Excellent. I'm going to cast Entangle. Grasping weeds and vines will come out of the ground in a 20-foot square. Yes. Starting from the point in range. For the duration, these plants turn the ground into an area with difficult terrain. A creature in the area, when you cast the spell, must succeed a strength stroke, a strength, strength thingy, uh -huh. what's, or what's be restrained. Um, a creature with the strength, with the spell, my spell DC, so the strength will be 14. Okay. 
So that's it. I use the spell. Hi. Uh, guard two passes his save. Uh, guard three does not. So the guard three becomes entwined on the doorstep. Yeah, all these vines and stuff come up. Am I within 20 feet of guard two? Yes. Yeah, isn't... Uh, aren't also, like, Valencia and Can you exclude and... people? Well, no, it's the area, but imagine anybody who's behind me is fine. So these yeah, but, people should be fine. But Avenue I didn't see Avenue being very sneaky. And Mo is also sneaky. attacking the thing that you're entwining. Mo? Or, sorry, uh, Valencia. So did you entwine my dog? I'm imagining, I'm imagining there's an area effect. As long as yeah. she didn't get between Guard 2 and the door, there's probably an area of effect where they're outside. I'm picturing that, is you know... Is it a 20-foot circle, though? Yeah. Yes, it's a... It's a <laughs> no, and I think... I don't... Did you... I think if you're casting a 20-foot circle so you can get both of these guards, anyone within that 20-foot circle is also going to have to make a strength check to not okay. become entwined. But everyone behind me, which I'm assuming is, is you and you, is, is Mola fine. And, Enor and if and anyone Nog. else comes out of the house, because we don't know how many other people there are, they'll be in this this graph. They'll be That's stopped true. at the door. Okay. That's true. So, uh, so Valencia, make me a strength check to not become entwined. You're fine. Uh, 17. All right, yep. you're fine. Avenir, make a strength check not to become entwined. 14? Yes. Well, that's a that's 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 a one in three chance. Nope. Avenir, you are on you are entwined. Very okay. Good. Until the until the spell ends. What's Correct. the duration of the spell? Concentration. So just until you I feel can like, hold it. Yeah. Until you feel like being done. It's not a combat unless Mo gives one of us disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, in that case, it's Ismola's turn, and Ismola is like looks around and she sees everything happening, and she's just like, yeah. Ooh. And uh, throws a spell at uh, she uh, she throws scorching ray at uh, at one of the guards. The one near me or the one at the door? And the one near you. Okay. Because that's the one attacking you. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Uh, ranged attack for each ray. Yeah. Mm. She get three. She gets Damn. three. And so if the ground's all like graspy nope. viney, yep. like, would the rays light it on fire? Uh, yep. Yeah. Is no, it now sort of flamey, like graspy, viney? No, they they usually don't let those effects stack. Stack yeah. over Ooh. one another. Mm -hmm. The magic doesn't interact. Uh, nine and is Mola absolutely immolates this guard. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, did she just kill a dude? Absolutely. Right in front of you. Mm. A man melted. A man like Raiders of the Lost Ark in front of you. Yeah, Ismola, <laughs> Ismola rolled really well on her raise, and, she, and it went, and it, you get like three little like charges. They go boof, 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 and then two of them hit, and then he became severely electrocuted, and you may have seen that thing that happens in cartoons where somebody turns black, but you see all their bones inside their body. Then he crumbled into a little pillar of ash. Welcome to the real world, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 as Mola goes, ah, I... forty thousand Zenos, and starts running towards the door. Okay, well, she should be careful. She doesn't get grasped in vines. Uh, she will probably not be careful that she's going to be grasped in vines. In fact, she's probably going to run right into that circle because she's right. an idiot. Strength check fourteen. Uh, is there is... any way for us to? Go and fight this guard now. I just need to check his mola's well, strength. He's not going I anywhere. I think she's okay. Oh yes, Ms. Mola's passed her strength check, and she is un she is un <laughs> unfettered by these vines because right. she has the bloodlust of a ruined uh, piece of laboratory equipment. In Interesting. <laughs> she spent months calibrating that thing, and some idiot dropped it. She's very cross. So anyhow, big mood. So she's she's running in. Uh, Nog, it's your turn. Uh, I don't have a lot I can do at range, so I'm gonna run through the vines. Ooh, right. Make me a strength check. I would laugh if our warrior fails. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be I hilarious. Just, yeah! <laughs> Man. <laughs> me, having to, me having to jump through hoops to fight beside you? Yeah, who'd have thought? Seven, I fail. Like, I'm gonna fight, and then... Yeah. The vines grasp him. Okay, so I've got oh, the... I still have a guard up that I shouldn't have. Goodbye, guard one. Yeah. So, Enor, it's your turn. Uh, Do I get entangled? How does it you work? You get entangled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's the zombie costume. It's holding you back. Yeah. 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 It's very, very, very convincing. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've got the shamble locked down. Yeah. And you shambled too hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, guard three is currently stuck. Uh, guard in... three is stuck beside it's the door. It's also entangled. Great. Yeah. Uh, as is Enor. Or as is Avenir and, and Nog now. Mm. Mol uh, is Mola barreling straight inside? Hmm. Cool, I'll wait. Okay. 
Uh, guard three, how do I get out of these entangled uh, vines? Unless they can get a 14 or higher, they can't. Okay, and do I take any damage? Nope. They're just entangled on their turn. Uh, I am entangled. All right. Avenir. Uh, would I be able to abandon the slime suit in the vines? You would have to make me a godlike dexterity check to get out of a very convincing Ooh. cosplay while entangled in vines so you couldn't move. You would have to somehow make your body into a liquid, but I'm prepared to entertain numbers. I'm just, 20. 20. <laughs> yeah, basically you've got to get like a nat 20 to do well, this. Well, or, or just roll 14 or higher with a strength check. Right? I tried to roll 14 or higher on my strength check. Okay. You're, You're free. free. I am free. You wiggle out of the vines. Right. I pursue Ismola. Exits. Exit stage left. Okay, well, both you and Ismola will basically just get inside the door, which is perfect, because as you skid to a stop inside the door, you see a very large, angry man come down the stairs. Handsome, like a naturally pretty man? Or... I have bad news for you. Uh, Vogos? Question mark? Because, uh, oh, I could skip so much of you sneaking in, because you just decided to, ru to just uh, fight them right away. All right. Uh, <laughs> decided. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Ismola was going to run in no matter what, but you could have tried to, you could have stopped her. But Ismola, so she comes in and she sees a very, a very sturdy looking Devkaran elf who's got huge arms and big glasses and a bag of something called mushroom potting soil under his arm and dirt up to his elbows and a shovel because he was not expecting guests. How, how many pounds of this mushroom uh, potting soil does he 50. have? 50. In that size bag? It's just tucked under his arm because he's a big burly boy. Uh, and he's got a big old scar and he's like, Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I'm Vogos. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not it. <laughs> I told you there can be more than one Vogos. You, I am so, uh, <laughs> Mo, shut up. <laughs> Wait, is this not the pretty one? No. Does he still have mushrooms? Yes. Stick around for a bit, see how this plays out. So his Mola looks at him and says, I've got a bill for you. And he goes, oh, hell no. <laughs> Wrong Vogos. Valencia, it's your go. Uh, so Basically, the... he had time to skid down the stairs and see what the hell was going on. All right, uh, he was like, Valencia, what's going on? Who Valencia are you? Valencia's gonna not <coughs> do anything. Well, no, she's free. No, but I, if I want to go again, if I want to move through these tangles at, at all, I gotta. I don't want to get entangled, so okay. I'm, I'm just not going to do anything on my turn. Uh, Valencia, Valencia is going to hold. She's going to wait for her boss. Mm -hmm. Melander, what are you going to do? Uh, I imagine it would it would be best for Nog if I canceled my spell. It'd be best for the entirety of the party if you stopped entangling things. I, it, it's even! The guard and you are the only people entangled. Oh. Alright, I'm going to put down the entangle thing. Apparently since we're just murdering stuff, I will cast Poison Spray. No, no, use Thorn Whip. I'll get the, I'll get the guard out of the door. Uh, I'm going to cast Thorn Whip, which is a cantrip uh, at the guard that's in the door. I create a long, vine-like whip in thorns that lashes at my command towards a creature in range. Make a spell attack. Yes. Um, Plus your, like, all your bonuses and stuff. Yep, I get a 12. Is okay. it, does a 12 hit? 12 does not hit. Okay. Nothing happens. His mola looks at him, looks at the guy, because it wasn't really her turn yet. He spent his turn thudding down and saying, what the hell are you doing holding his shovel and his bag of mushroom potting mix? Hmm. And Ismola spends her turn going, I don't... Avenir? Yes, this Ismola? Isn't, this isn't the same Devkarn elf we saw before, was it? It does not appear to be, no. He, doesn't, he, he seems to be a different Vogos. Oh. Do you know any other Vogai? <laughs> That's in the plural. <laughs> We're looking for a very tall, beautiful Devkarin Vogos. A druid with the uh, Golgari. With the... He's like, that's a very common name. It's oh. not actually my name, but I grow drugs, which is why I told people my name was Vogos. So they would not be able to find me as easily. Oh, I see where the problem is. Okay, we're looking for an actual Vogos. He works with the, with, with, what are they? The, Vol the Golgari Swarm. Yeah. The Golgari Swarm. Yes. 
That's great. I do have a question, though, he says, okay. carefully putting down his bag of mushroom growth soil mm -hmm. and, his, and holding his spade in one hand. Mm -hmm. Are you here to rob me? Because you appear to have dispatched two of my guards. Oh, oh. no, 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 no. We <sighs> That was all a very unfortunate misunderstanding. I mispronounced a, a friend's name. Biv sent me, specifically me in this case, now that we know you're not the Vogos that everyone else is looking for. You are the Vogos I was looking for. Burning that particular bridge pretty early. <laughs> <laughs> Biv just gonna sent throw you, this huh? guy under the bus. Hmm. Interesting. What do you want? Uh, just a few of the good mushrooms. <laughs> The musical appreciation ones. Did we go on a journey to acquire drugs for Enor? Yeah, drugs. recreational <laughs> drugs for Enor. It was a side quest, people. Thought we were going to kill two birds with one stone. Now we're going to have to sit here and hang out while he finishes watching Lord of the Rings. I assure you, I'm pretty certain that if this goes down, he's going to want us to leave. Hi. He does not know what to make of any of this. This is definitely the third weirdest thing that's happened to him today. The first two he knew because he was he was he had been testing mushrooms. Hmm. The third, he, the mushrooms should be done. So none of this should be happening. This poor man who's not actually okay. named Vogos okay. is having a big is in a big mood right now. Hold, hold and on. he goes, okay, hold on, hold on, and he pulls a clump of mushrooms out of his pocket and he says, "Go away." Ooh, I take the things. Put them in my bag, take off my helmet. Ah! And he runs upstairs. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think that means we're back to square one. Well, great. Now what? Well, also, we get to cross one Vogos off the list. Yep. Don't know which one. If we do this for each Vogos we find, <laughs> I'm not going to make it through this adventure. Well, we'll kill the man. Like, oh, it's 40,000 Xenos. Not him. Well, I thought he was the right... Okay, how about this? How about... Maybe my plan of working through every single Vogos alphabetically was not the best plan. Go on. <laughs> also incorrect. Uh, Morioka is about eighth on this list. Oh, crap. We weren't even doing it in order. How are we supposed to keep track of our results? That's irresponsible lab work. Completely. At least I was right about them being an elf. Yes. Well, you don't know if this was Vogos Morioka. You just picked the name off the list. Oh, right. That wasn't actually Vogoth. Where Vogos. Is, where is Vogos? Right, the Vogoth were from Hitchhiker's Guide. Vogons. Those Vogons. Oh. I th are you thinking of the Visigoths? <laughs> they were from Germany. <laughs> No, definitely weren't thinking about those. Let's think about the ones with bad poetry. Interesting. Yeah, that's okay. Anyhow, aside from all of that, as Mola says, okay, well, how about this? How about we come back to this plan after I cross some Vogoses off my list? We're just going to breeze right past whatever that might mean and say, sure. Yep. <laughs> Darn. You, I couldn't give this bill to you guys and you could pass it on to the Golgari Swarm for me? Me don't really have a reason to collect for you. That being said, uh, it might be beneficial for both us and I'm sure your work that you have to do at the university. If you did not uh, come, if you stayed there at the thing and we'll take care of this and you were probably not on the adventure with us burning people to a crisp. At least and also being stealthy. At least the person Nog hit isn't dead. He's just unconscious. He's unconscious, right? I'm going to heal him. Is he dead? I have some bad news for you. Yeah? Yo, I sliced that guy good. You yeah. killed him too? Yeah. Yeah. You killed two mooks. I'm a zombie. All right, fine. You I'm take this. I'm, I'm going role back playing to work. in my role play. I'm not cut out for adventuring. I'm a, I'm a graduate student. I just want my PhD in, a, in applied cryptocology. An applied thing I made up. <laughs> Wait, did you make no, up no, that no, word? That's, that's, uh, Is that actually? What it, yeah. Yeah, no, I made that up. Oh, I yeah. assumed that was actually a thing. <laughs> well, it's sort of. Yeah. If you were going to study explosions, uh, crepit, crepitus is Latin oh. for explosion. Oh, that'd be the entomology for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So anyway, gotcha. 
Yeah, okay, I guess I'm not cut out for adventuring, and then I can help Babalax, because we do have a deadline in three days. Uh, oh, by the way, you should definitely come to the opening ceremonies at Zonot, too. What, 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 what will be, what, what's the end result? We're and unveiling the big project we're working on with the Simic Combine. That's what we need the Pyromanaflux <gasps> conduit for. Wait, do you have a contact with the Simic Combine? Yeah. We'll be there. We... <laughs> If you provide us with your contact information with the Simic Combine, we will consider getting this signed for you. Also, is the event catered? And on that note, <laughs> I think it's time to call this session of Bylaw and Order to a close. Thank you so much. This has been Session 6 of Bylaw and Order.